So within Dynamics GP, this is the home page that I have set up. And currently what I have on here is my to-do, business analyzer, my reports, and then procurement. And you can scroll down. I also have my quick links down at the bottom. You can rearrange these windows, whether you're dragging and dropping. So if you want to move my reports up to the top, you can do that. You can rearrange the layout there. The other thing that you can do is you can expand. You can min maximize your columns based on the reports and the items that you want to look at on your home page, as well as throughout the modules when you're using the navigation. To make changes to the home page, you're going to go to Customize This Page in the upper right corner. And within this window, you can go in and look at, you know, what do you want to show here? Do you want to see the to-do, the quick links? Uh, if you're doing anything with time management, you can show that information here. Procurement has is the requisitions. So when you check these on, these are what will show up in your on your home page rather. So for business analyzer, I have that checked here. And if I go to the blue expansion arrow to go into business analyzer, these are all of the reports out of the box that are available. So I've added the reports that I want to show as this example. Um, you can add a number of reports here, but keep in mind that if you the the number of reports that you add to Business Analyzer, the longer it takes for GP to load and launch because it's going through and pulling all of that data. And you will get a pop-up message once you exceed um, probably 10 reports or so that the adding additional reports will affect performance in loading GP. Similar as throughout GP, you can rearrange the reports where you want them in the list and how you where you want them to show. It's very simple as far as adding reports. You can just click on an available report, choose the insert button, and that will add it there. Similar with removing it, you're going to click on the report that you want to remove and hit the remove button. Once you have your report selected, you can click on OK. And then back on the customize this page, you're going to click on OK again. And your home page is going to refresh. And I'm going to move the Business Analyzer reports over. My total sales year to date has a date issue in it, so it's not accurately reflecting the right numbers. But I can see my year to date sales by state. I have a breakdown there. And I'm just scrolling through at the bottom of this window here through the reports that I have selected from Business Analyzer. I can see employee birthdays if I want to have that. I have my receivable summary by type and count. And again, I'm back to my year-to-date sales. 